Hey guys, welcome back. So we are checking into our Airbnb. We just got here and I'm going to show you guys inside so you all can see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go inside and check it out. So everybody's getting comfortable at this point, but let me show you the house. So once you first walk in, they have very nice hardwood flooring. The house was clean, spotless from the moment we walked in, which is a plus. I say that because sometimes it is not like that, but let's start with the kitchen. I love the bar area. There are a lot of chairs so that everybody can at least sit here, have breakfast together, which is a plus. And the kitchen is very open, it's spacious. I ha they have a lot of countertop space as well. And I love the sink right here. Very deep, stainless steel, of course. And there's a dishwasher here. Let's see, we have a lot of our cleaning supplies underneath the sink, and there's a stove and a microwave. I wanna see if we have any dishes, which I think we do, yes we do. So they provided us with dishes. We also, we also have some cutlery here and some cooking utensils in this Lazy Susan, so that is a good thing. Oh, and we have pots and pans as well. So at least we know we can cook here and not spend money out because we can do so in the house. There are, there's some other Tupperware, Tupperware and some glasses here as well. So that is good. Let's check out the fridge. Here we are, nothing in here of course. It's clean though, so we may go pick up some groceries so that we can have some things to eat with. And the freezer as well is clean. Angel thinks the trash can is a unique feature <laughs> because you can press the button. So this is the living room, nice large flat screen television mounted on the wall. I think that's a pull out sofa so Brandon may sleep in here tonight. I'm going to walk back here in the bedroom. This is where Anthony and I will sleep. We'll sleep. This is the master bed which is nice as I will sleep with us as well because we, we didn't bring a playpen with us and I did open the closet already. So at least we have a extra blanket they provided us with coat hangers and a smaller hamper hamper back there in the corner so i'm going inside of the master bathroom and it is very very nice but as you can see it's not a double vanity sink it just they just have one which is a very nice bowl i really like it and I love the faucet, that is really cute. Let's see here, we have a blow dryer, washcloths and towels, face towels, washcloths here, and some toilet tissue. And look at the sink, guys, the sink, the shower. <laughs> the shower is really nice, I love this. You know, if I had my house, I would definitely do something similar. So I'm going to step inside. Oh my gosh, these pebbles feel so good. And at least they provided us with a bench so that we can sit down and enjoy our shower. And it just has one single shower head up here along with the nozzle to turn it on and off. Let's see what this closet is. This is just a storage closet, so, ooh, all right. We have some Swiffer sweepers, cleaning products. We have a cooler if we need one, beach towels, uh, sheets, extra bed sheets, and basically a whole utility closet, and that's really nice. At least we can clean up behind ourselves. We don't need to call them to do that, and it, they provided us with enough towels and beach towels to accommodate our stay, so that is a really friendly gesture. I really like that. So let's walk inside the girls' room, and they have a day bed, and either Angel, Cadence, whoever, will sleep on the top, and one of them can sleep on the bottom because this is a trundle, so you can just pull this out, and one of the girls will have a place to lay their head. And they don't have a dresser, but if they need to put their items away, they have these little cubicles for them to do so. They have a lot of them, so there's no reason that they don't have any room to do it or to put things in. They have a television with cable and an extra chair in the room. And their closet is pretty much the same. Oh, look, okay, there's a high chair or a booster seat for the child if we need one. And look, guys, I found... The playpen, so that's good. I think I'm gonna use that tonight for his eye to make sure that he sleeps somewhere not with us. They gave us some beach bags, little ship up there, it's cute. Uh, um, yeah, some pillows, 
extra pillows and blanket and what is this i don't know it's a pillow okay that's a pillow so this is the guest bathroom pretty much the same concept as the master single vanity sink same bowl faucet and all of the extra towels down here to include the toilet tissue and things of that nature um, and they have a shower and tub combo so that's good but I would love to take a bath I might do so tonight after our adventure today going up the summit now what I do want to talk about is the windows the doors this is so beautiful to have you know a chance to just look outside at first I was a little worried because you know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know where I am. I'm not from here and I didn't want any random stranger to just walk up to the house and just peek through the window. So it is a little sense of privacy here, but that's okay. There's three entry points or rather four entry, exit, entry and exit points. We have two French doors here that slide outward. So you can go to the wraparound patio, the same thing here with that door. And then we have this door to go outside and utilize the grill or whatnot. And I missed this when I walked in. This is a greeting from the owners. It says, Aloha Sherelle and family. Thank you for choosing our Hale Aloha for your stay. Please enjoy the goodies. And if you have any questions, feel free to text a call. And that is a really nice gesture. Of course, th those are the house keys here, but this is the gift basket that they gave us. And I, there's some oranges here. I guess these are many oranges too. I'm not too sure. I've never seen anything <laughs> this small, but I'm going to take a guess and say that it is. Um, we have some dry roasted macadamias with sea salt. There's some blueberry muffins here. Raw, this, uh, this is sugar and what is this? This is a creamer for the coffee. They provided us some popcorn as well as some Kona coffee here, which is very nice. We have a fresh pineapple back here and this is a lime and there are some chocolates in this jar as well and last but not least some tea so this is oh and granola bar so this is really nice i really appreciate that it definitely says welcome to the house enjoy your stay so angel wants a muffin here you go my dear i came across the house policy or the house rules if you will pretty much self-explanatory respect the home standard check-in is after three checkout is at 11 five miles down the, the driveway please park in designated parking stalls no partying no drugs no animals <laughs> house keys 25 dollars for a replacement um and the bed and breakfast permit for the county does not allow us to cook breakfast for you instead we will provide fresh fruit coffee tea baked goods from costco Okay, well that's it. Thank you, Eric and Renee. This is not your house, honey. You can't just open the door because you want to. That's not how it works. There you go. Go ahead and close it. So if you guys can see down yonder, there is a beach. <laughs> We can't walk to it, it's fenced off, but that is such a beautiful view, especially from where we are staying, and I think that is so breathtaking. So this house has a lot of features. It's not big, but it's enough for all six of us. When you look on the outside, it doesn't look like much, but there is a lot, and that's the master right there. So like I said, we can go outside on the patio, or porch rather, and just have a nice, morning drinking coffee or tea or whatnot and just enjoying the view and by the way that's a tree house i had angel go up there earlier she couldn't go inside but i think that's really cute that they put that right there and let's talk about the washer and dryer it's actually outside in the carport um i'm not used to that but hey we have something that we can use to clean our clothes and there is a wash sink so that is really nice and convenient to have and we do take our shoes off because they ask us to <laughs> it's not a big deal but this is the car this is the rental that we got just a dodge caravan so yeah so that's that and we have a patio set and we can sit out here and eat and enjoy a good old time